Hi, everybody. We're going to wait just a few seconds to see, um, to let people have a chance to hop on. Um, I know we've got a few already. If you don't know me, I'm Laura Dietrich, and I'm the project coordinator at Northwest Arkansas Gives. So you've probably gotten emails from me and um, Maybe we've met and, and I've had a chance to talk to you in the past. If not, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I think you're going to um, get a lot out of this uh, webinar. Um, so today we're gonna cover just kind of a quick high level back to the basics. So if you are new, this is gonna help you out. If you are new to your organization, this will help you out. Um, and if you've done this before, it'll be a great refresher. So again, my name is Laura Dietrich and Sarah from Mighty Cause will be taking over here in just a second and she'll do um, the presentation. Um, and at the end, we'll have a chance to have some Q&A. So we hope that you have questions. If you think of something during the presentation, feel free to put that in the chat box and we can try to respond and, um, or you can save it to the end if you want to. So you go to the next slide here. Maybe. There Did we it go. go for you. There you go. So if you are new to, oops. Um, okay, I think. <laughs> Laura's video ended. Hold on one second. Um, I will keep going. So as Laura was saying, so if you're new here, um, kind of some a little bit of information about the NWA Gives Basics uh, for the event this year. So the site nwagives.org is the site that you'll be going to um, where you'll be, you know, logging in, registering your organization um, and continuing to just fill out your pages and all that good stuff. Sorry um, about that. You're fine. Are we good? Sorry about that. Can you hear me okay? Uh, you're a little broken up, but I think okay. we can hear you. Sorry about that. It just kicked me out. Um, so, okay, I'm on I will take the, my video off. Maybe that'll help here. Yeah, try stuff um, video. So, NWA Gives started in 2018. Can you hear? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, so NWA Gives started in 2018. And so we've grown quite a lot in just a few short years. Um, the main purpose of our organization is to um, highlight nonprofits in Northwest Arkansas. Um, anyone uh, that is a 501c3 that uh, serves Benton, Washington, Carroll, Madison, Crawford, Franklin, or Sebastian County can participate. Um, we are going to have our big um, giving day on April 6th from 8 to 8, and that is the day we kind of focus on. But in the meantime, for the rest of the year, we want you to be successful, and we provide lots and lots of training. So if you have some so I think that's kind of a, an overview of where we are, and I'll let Sarah take it from here. Sounds good. Um, so for my part, I'm pretty much going to be kind of um, walking you through, if you're new to a giving day, what they are and how they work really briefly. A lot of you are returning participants, which is exciting. So then we'll go into kind of a platform walkthrough um, where I'll just give you a quick refresher in case you haven't been in the platform in a while, um, showing you how to pretty much update like sections of your page, where to find your retention reports and stuff like that. Um, but basically, what is a giving day? How do they work? A giving day is a supercharged day of uh, philanthropy. <laughs> Um, bringing together a community um, and donors for specific causes. So you all are the amazing causes um, that makes NWA Gives possible. Uh, and our awesome host, the NWA Gives Board of Directors, um, they are bringing you all together and rallying you and having rallies literally <laughs> to help get you all motivated and gear up for this giving event. 
Um, the goal is to raise, you know, of course, as much money as you can within a short time frame. Um, by having a short time frame, that increases the sense of urgency for donors to give to your cause. It gives you a talking point. You can um, secure matching grants. You can make it a big uh, deal, you know, as big as a deal as you want it to be. Um, and then you work on spreading awareness through social media, through your email message marketing. Um, and we all kind of work together, come together on this one particular day to raise as much money as we can uh, and meet any of your other goals as well. So if that's like securing new donors or securing matching grants for the first time, this gives you a lot of incentive um, to kind of grow your event in the way that you want it to for your cause. Um, so what does your organization need to do? First, like Laura was saying, you need to register to participate. Um, and then once you're registered and you're approved, you can log in to the MWA Give site and you can start to customize or just start to update your profile. Um, so you can start planning your fundraising campaign, like I was saying, thinking about your strategy for social media, your strategy for email. Um, are you going to have, you know, uh, an in-person event? Like, what are you going to do to really attract donors to give during this time period? Um, then you'll invite your supporters, so you can invite them to fundraise for you. They can create their own peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, so they can work in tandem with your uh, campaign and spread the word and share their own personal page link to try to help you get more donations. Um, and then at the end of the day, we're, you're raising just a ton of money for your organization. Um, so I'm going to stop share briefly uh, and switch over to, oops, switch over to our demo site to show you what it looks like um, when you log in. Um, let's see, share screen. Um, all right, so you've come to the nwagives.org uh, site. Um, you've been approved, you got the email message, you're ready to log in. If you're brand new, this is where you're coming all the time. Um, you're clicking login in the top right hand corner. Uh, it prompts you to log in either with Google, Facebook, or your email account that is attached to your organization profile that you registered. Um, if you're brand new, this is also where you can come to create an account, which is nice. So I'm not going to log in because I'm already logged in over here, but this is kind of what it looks like. Um, once you are logged in, um, this little kind of drop down menu will appear and your organization will be listed. This is how you access your page. So you can click into your organization profile. So we'll pretend that I clicked in and I am on my profile, the Animal Humane Society. Um, this is your overview. It's your landing page. It's where all your metrics live. It's where your uh, little tag says that you're registered for NWA Gives. If you're not registered, um, you can also see that here. It'll say that registration is now open for NWA Gives if you've previously participated. Um, you'll have that little tag because it knows, hey, you participated before. Uh, registration is open if you want to participate again. So you can register through that section. Um, your overview is really helpful because it's going to give you kind of a quick look at any metrics that you're interested in, um, which is really cool. You can kind of filter different things. You can move these tiles around. Uh, but the bulk of what we're going to talk about today is going to be your organization page, which will be the landing page um, that donors are seeing when they come to your page. It's all about you. It's got your logo. Um, fundraising tools is really great. This is where you're coming to create your matching grants or to pull a widget and create a widget to add to your own website to try to capture donations that might not come on the NWA Give site, but you want to capture them so they're counted towards your totals for the event. You can do that. Um, this is where you can come for your fundraiser templates so you can customize like a peer to peer fundraising page, fill in like information, your logo, make it easy for anyone who's going to be peer to peer fundraising for you. Um, and then campaigns, of course, we'll get into that as well. This is where all of your peer to peer fundraisers live. Um, reporting is going to be a very useful tool for you. You can see all your donations. Um, if you have recurring donations, if you have offline donations that you need to add so that those get counted for your totals on your uh, organization page. You can also this year see retention, which is going to be really helpful. So if you have participated in the past, um, this retention section is going to be really helpful to come up with a strategy during your event. 
Um, you can see who has given to you last year during NWA Gives and who has not given to you during this year's campaign. So you can come up with a strategy, pull those emails, send them all a quick note on the day of the event if they haven't yet given. Um, and then, of course, your checkout flow is going to be a little section you want to um, refresh or update if you haven't uh, as well. Just making sure like your thank you page is up to date. Um, your donation receipt, uh, thank you message, and your donation form. So we will get more into each of these. Um, and then, of course, settings has a bunch of good stuff like social sharing settings. Um, well, we'll start with the organization page since this is the front facing page of your organization's profile. Um, and like Laura was saying, you can use this page for your year round fundraising as well. Um, that's one of the great perks that comes along with uh, paying the registration fee. You get access to your organization page until the end of the year, which is really wonderful. Um, so your organization page, you can toggle on and off edit mode. Obviously, you're logged in as an admin, so you're going to see this dashboard. But if you were not to see the dashboard, this is what the page looks like if you are a donor coming to your organization. Um, we'll go back, turn on edit mode, and then you can see all of the sections available to you for editing. So I'm not going to get too deep into this if anyone has questions, since a lot of you are returning. Um, we also have another webinar from last year that's like really getting into the details of page setup. Uh, but I do want to keep this a little more higher level and allow space for you all to ask questions as well. Um, so like I said, so many areas to customize donate this is where people are clicking to donate and give to you fundraise this is a button that where they come to fundraise for you as then create a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser for you you can also toggle off the fundraise button if you don't want it on your page um, metrics bar this is going to be key for you so that you can make sure what you're raising is reflecting right um, if you haven't been in using the page that's fine but you'll want to choose the date to calculate uh, to start the calculation. So that would be the early giving date of March 30th at 8 a.m. Um, so you want to update that. Uh, and then again, your about page, just totally customizable, very fun. You can add videos, you can add photos, you can customize the text, um, you can change colors. Think about really what your message is and what your campaign is about for NWA Gives. Um, that is going to be what you really want to fill in in this section because donors are coming. They might not know about you. They found you in search. They want a quick look at what you do. Why are you fundraising? What's the money going to? These types of storytelling um, is going to be really key, especially when you're trying to uh, attract a new donor. Um, so figure out your messaging. You can add photos, um, a lot of good stuff. You also can add one additional tab, which is cool. So if you wanted, this could be all about your organization. Um, and then you could have another tab that's like, here's like, you know, a deeper look at two of our projects. Like these are two projects that we're focusing on for NWA Gives, uh, or like, if it's relevant for you, meeting your staff or meeting, you know, the dogs at your foundation, like little things like that can really make your story very moving. So make sure you use it. Um, it's here for you. So add some cool content. Um, and then as you scroll down, you can feature campaigns. Uh, easy, easy to use. Just turn it on. You can look for the fundraising effort you want to highlight. This is pretty much um, peer to peer fundraisers. So if you have people fundraising for you that you want to highlight, you can add them here. Um, and then really cool, new this year, we had a lot of requests that people wanted a giving activity feed on their page. Um, so this is a fun section. You can hide it or you can show it. Totally up to you. Uh, if you do choose to show it, um, we honor whatever the donor requests when they're making their gift, whether they want to be anonymous by name and amount, or whether they want to be anonymous just by name, or they don't want someone to know their amount. Whatever they select in the checkout process is going to be reflected on the activity wall. So this is a demo site, so all of our uh, employees <laughs> just didn't toggle it. Um, but if it was anonymous, it would say anonymous gave $1,000 or anonymous gave um, just anonymous stuff like that. So, uh, so you all can rest easy knowing that whatever the don donor has selected will be reflected in the activity wall. Um, a couple other things to point out, you can see all of the campaigns that are supporting you. So all the peer to peer fundraisers, 
Uh, you can also add a gallery, um, all sorts of really good stuff. So I would recommend if you have previously participated, just coming, taking a look, refreshing the content, make sure you know the dates are all updated for 2023 um, and playing around with this stuff. Uh, you can also update the colors of these buttons if you're brand new and you're looking for a way to kind of create like a nice page that reflects your organization's brand. Um, moving into fundraising tools. This is what I was talking about, creating a fundraiser template. So you have the option to create one template. Um, and within this template, you can pre-fill a bunch of stuff. So this year, if your goal is to, you know, get at least five people peer-to-peer -peer fundraising for you, this is a good thing to incorporate into your strategy. Um, pre-filling a template, a title, a goal, an image, uh, making it just like a nice page for someone to have to set up, having some pre-filled sections. Um, really easy to use. So then once, you know, you have your template ready to go, uh, you can send out links for people to fundraise for you. And then all of those campaigns are found in your campaigns tab. So you can see how much was raised, you can see the name, you can see who owns it, whether you own it as an admin or it's a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser by somebody else. Um, there's a lot of, we, Mighty Cause just loves data. So we have just a ton of information for you all over the platform. Um, if you find that you have an out of date fundraiser and you're like, I don't want this showing in search, this is like messy. You can easily toggle discoverability and hide old fundraisers. Um, so if you have fundraisers, people who fundraised for you last year that maybe aren't fundraising this year, you have the ability as an admin to come in and toggle that discoverability so that only the current fundraisers uh, are showing. Um, back to fundraising tools. This section is also where you'll add matching grants. You can queue up your matches. You'll see the live matches during the event. Uh, if you have queued matches, they'll show up here as well, showing upcoming. And then once they close, past matches will live here um, and all of the data that goes with them. Um, one thing to note about matches, they uh, a gift can't go over into another match. So if you have, um, you know, one match live and there's only $50 left, but somebody donated $100, that extra $50 that they gave wouldn't be matched um, and wouldn't apply to the next match. Just a heads up, because sometimes we do get questions about that. Um, but it's really easy to create a match. You just click create a new match um, and you can add the name. You can make it hidden if the sponsor doesn't want to be recognized. You can add pictures. Um, you can set the date, set the start time, end time. You have a lot of kind of options when it comes to how you want to set up your match type. Um, you can, of course, do 100% match like a one to one. Uh, if someone gives 100, they get $100 from the match. Um, you can also uh, set up to a maximum dollar amount. So if you don't want somebody to donate, if you have a $1,000 match and you don't want somebody to come and donate $1,000 and eat up the entire match in a, in a moment, you could set it so that you match maybe up to $100 per donation, thereby stretching your match so a lot of donors can have the fun of having their donation matched. So you can play around with this, um, really user-friendly. If you have questions, you can always reach out to our support team and we'll help you get set up. Uh, I do find that matching grants sometimes have a lot of questions. So we also have a really great support articles about matching grants um, and all that good stuff that you can check out as well. Widgets, like I was talking about, um, this is a cool little mini donation form or donate button that you can add to an external website. So if you have your website for year round fundraising um, and you're worried that maybe somebody will get confused, not realize that they need to give on your NWA gives page, you can add a donate button to your outside website. And when they click it to make the gift, it's going to direct them to the donation form for your NWA gives organization page. So you can capture those maybe accidental donations that really you wanted someone to make on your uh, organization page. Um, but really easy to use. You just generate a code and then you, whoever handles your website will just add it. And then you have this cute little button or this, my favorite, this adorable little mini donation form, which has all of your suggested donation levels. Um, the only thing to note about this is that it doesn't allow a section for a designation, uh, but this is really just like streamlined donation form for people. 
Um, and then moving forward into your reports section, of course, you have just, like I said, we love data. We have a ton of reporting for you. All your donations for the entire giving event from last year are going to live here. You can toggle the time period, the custom date range. You can also select the campaign. So you can view specifically by last year's giving event if you wanted to pull that report of everybody who gave during last year's event. Um, and then as donations start coming in, you'll start to see all of them stack in this little donation area. Um, you can download, of course, a full CSV report um, as well. And you can also add offline donations. Um, if you have offline donations that you want to um, add during the day. Um, back to reporting, like I was saying, um, retention is going to be really important. If you previously participated uh, last year, your retention report is going to list out all of the people who gave to you during last year's campaign. So you'll select like NWA Gives 2022. Um, and then you can see all of the donors, uh, the amount they gave, where they gave, um, and then you can download that list and then email them all. Um, so you can sort by status, retained or not retained. So work it into your schedule on the day of the event. Uh, you know, probably by sometime in the morning and maybe sometime in the afternoon, you're going to want to come here and click not retained for 2022 and see who has yet to give uh, and then download and send them a quick email. Hey, you gave to our campaign last year. Our campaign is live this year. Please donate. Um, you'll probably have worded it a little better than I did right then, but that's the gist. Um, and then, of course, your disbursements. This is a demo site, so we don't have disbursements. But once you get disbursements, um, they will show here, and you can find all the details after the event uh, with all the amounts. Um, checkout flow, you have your donation form, you have your thank you page, and you have your donation receipt. All of these are customizable, starting with your donation form. Just like on your organization page, you can toggle the edit mode and see what it looks like uh, to a donor. You can also grab that direct donate link. So if you're trying to have a donate button in an email, grab your donate link and attach it to that button so that when someone clicks donate, it brings them right to this beautiful form that you've created, um, making the process just really easy for them. So on edit mode, you can see all of the sections that are editable for you. Um, so take a minute if you've previously participated, make sure all of these you know, still make sense for you this year. Um, is there anything you want to add? Uh, you can, you know, make that judgment call. But we always suggest, you know, between four and six different donation levels. Um, this helps people really just give you a better idea, helps you give people a better idea of what it costs to do different things at your organization. And sometimes people come here um, and they might make a decision like, oh, I was going to give, you know, 20 bucks, but oh my goodness, I can transport rescue dogs. That's so cool. And somebody might be willing to give more because of the description that you've included. Um, so make sure you take time to really think about that um, and let people know. Um, this is where you can also add one additional question. So we automatically collect, you know, email addresses and um, and like mailing addresses. Uh, but if you wanted to collect a phone number, maybe your organization does a lot of, you know, phone calling to donors or you want to thank donors, um, this is where you would need to add like, what is your phone number? Um, so super easy to use. This is pretty much what it looks like at its most basic level. <coughs> Excuse me, all my talking. Um, let's see. Okay, so then your thank you page. Um, this is a message that pops up after a donor gives to your organization. So they've clicked that donate button. The website pops up and says, thank you for donating. Your receipt has been mailed. And then underneath it will be your thank you message. So definitely, definitely add a little thank you. It doesn't need to be extensive, but it's nice for a donor to see a thank you right away. I'm sure all of you as organizations have like a thinking process that you go through and you still should definitely do that. Um, but this little thank you is really just some, a nice little touch. They'll see that you received their donation. You can add a video. Um, this little editing bar like, you know, allows you to adjust your text colors. You can really get very designy with this section. 
Um, you can add images, maybe an image of your staff, like cheering, <laughs> whatever you would like. Uh, but yes, definitely take some seconds to come through here. Um, and you also have the option to create a little button. Uh, maybe you want them to consider being added to your mailing list. You can direct them to that with this. Um, and then of course their donation receipt, all of the donors are going to receive this receipt on the side. Um, it'll be customized as an NWA gives receipt, but the message that you include here will be also included in their donation receipt. Um, so again, just something quick, thank you so much for your support. Um, we'll be in touch, you know, uh, whatever you would like. So these three sections. Um, and then your settings is where your organization info, your disbursement settings, do you have checks or do you have EFT? Uh, maybe you had checks last year, and this year you want to do EFT, you can set that up in disbursement settings. Um, general settings, um, if you have alternate search names, maybe you go by something completely different, you need people to be able to find you, you can add those search names here. Um, and then of course your social sharing. So make sure this is up to date. Perhaps last year you said support us during NWA Gives 2022. Just make sure your dates are you know, updated to this current year. Um, so that is a quick look at everything. Uh, also admins, if you need to add somebody on your team, you can do that through this window. You'll just go to create a new, add new admin um, and they'll get an email saying that they've been added. Um, you can also, you know, approve if you're already an admin, you can approve other people who have requested to be an admin. Um, but yeah, super easy to use. I'm going to switch back um, to our slideshow. Uh, so start thinking about any questions you might have um, as I'm going to go through just the amazing NWA gives resources available to you all. Um, so, of course, we have the nonprofit toolkit available to you all. It has timelines, tips, templates, just a ton of stuff to try to make your campaign uh, easy, seamless. Of course, you know, these templates, you'll have to go in and, and add a little bit of your sparkle. Um, but for the most part, like we just have a ton of really great stuff for you step-by-step -step instructions. And then of course, NWA Gives has their own resource center uh, that specifically has quick video guides and just other tips. So check out those two areas. Um, and then of course, sign up for our next webinar. It is happening March 2nd, um, 2 p.m. Central. It's gonna be all about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising um, and communication strategies for your donors. So that's what our suggestion is for your email timeline, um social media tips and tricks i mean social media is a wild animal uh but we'll let you know our tips and tricks what we've seen works so be sure to sign up for that that's found in the nonprofit toolkit on the nwagives.org site um and then of course the faqs is a great resource center just has a bunch of you know information that you can pull from as you're trying to come up with emails as you're trying to like plan, what messaging you want to start to, you know, get new donors, stuff like that. You can pull right from there. Um, and then of course our support, um, the NWA Gives support team and Mighty Causes support team are available to you. I have the dates, the time, um, not the dates, the time, <laughs> well, I guess Monday to Friday has dates, uh, the, the email to call and the phone number, um, and then one thing we didn't really touch on a lot last year was the Mighty Cause Resource Center. Um, so we have, of course, a support library. It has a bunch of answers to, you know, your questions. How do I resend a receipt? How does, you know, how do I sign up for EFT? Um, how do I connect my Instagram account? Stuff like that lives in the support center. Um, but the resource center is really cool because we have a bunch of pre-recorded webinars. We have one that's all about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising you can check out. Um, we have one that's all about matching grants. So if you go to mightycause.com slash guide, you can see and download eBooks. We have a ton of blog, blah, 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 blog posts about different topics. Um, a bunch of good case studies too. So if you're looking for how to, you know, jazz up your um, campaign this year, we have a lot of cool tips. Um, and I will add that link to the toolkit because I don't think it's in there, but I'll double check. Um, 
questions, anybody? Or Laura, if you have anything you want to add. Um, I just, <laughs> that was pretty fast, but I think if you can, and, and just, you know, give yourself an hour to peruse the website and really look at your page, I think you will find that it's very simple to kind of go in and add information to customize your site. Um, it was a lot of information because you get a lot of things with Mighty Cause. So um, I really love the widget. And I think if you can add that widget to your website to get, you know, donations, you can keep that up all year round and, you know, process anything through um, our page anytime. Um, so, yeah, any questions out there? Anybody raising their hand that I don't see? I don't You can either. Anyone. Maybe they're typing. We'll give it a second. So peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, I know, uh, and matching grants can sometimes seem very daunting. Um, but really, that is your opportunity to really talk to people that are already supporting you. So if you have people in the past that have been wonderful donors, great volunteers, um, people that you can count on, those are the people that you are going to want to invite to be uh, to do your peer-to-peer -peer, uh, fundraising for you. So they will be campaigning on your behalf and maybe they have their own goal maybe they want to raise five hundred dollars for your cause and so they are really helping you do the work of of that day of giving so really think about who make your list talk to your board um, your board members are great people to do peer-to-peer -peer fundraising for you um, they should be invested in your cause and they know a lot of people. So um, that's a great person. Those are great people to, to ask to do the peer to peer fundraising or even a matching grant. Maybe your board would like to come together and, and pull a thousand dollars and they want to do that matching grant for you. So although it sounds daunting, you're asking people that you know are already invested in your cause and are willing to help you do the work. So I hope that kind of clears that up or is helpful. Let's yeah, that's see. Very helpful. Thanks, James. Um, and Anyone then what again, else have any questions? I know. Um, if you all saw anything, I know this was like a more high level kind of like overview, um, but if you saw something and you're cur curious and maybe you want to learn more, um, you can always just reach out to our support team and ask a question like, hey, I've never done matching grants. I'm feeling like I don't know where to start um, and they can help you out like that's what they're here for. Um, they're quick. They're are super friendly. They also can do one on one kind of trainings on zoom. So if you wanted to kind of schedule something with them, they can show you around the platform in greater detail than I did right now. Um, and kind of do like a more one on one walkthrough of all the tools. So that is definitely available to you. All you have to do is just send a quick email to support and say you're interested um, and somebody can help you out. Um, I don't hear your audio if you're talking, Laura, but I thought I heard something. Well, I got kicked off again, so oh, I'm, coming, no. I'm coming back in. So sorry about that. Um, another thing I want to just make sure you guys are aware of, um, I, I missed what you just said, Sarah. So if I missed something, um, I just want to encourage all of you again to, to sign up for the one day intensive on the 21st. If you haven't already done that, as soon as you get off, 
this meeting, you should go to our page and you should sign up for that. So that is going to be a day of networking for you, meeting other nonprofits. Um, we'll feed you lunch and it's gonna be at the uh, Thaden Airfield here in Bentonville. Um, but it's such a great day of learning and collaboration and just feeling very plugged into the nonprofit world here in Northwest Arkansas. We live in a very unique place. So um, there's lots of amazing work being done and you just never know who you will meet that you might be able to bounce ideas off of or collaborate with. So I really encourage you to um, sign up for that event on the 21st. That sounds fun. I want to go to that. <laughs> it's going to be really nice. So, and also, if you don't mind in the chat, would you just type for me what organization you're with, just so I know and I can keep up with um, keep up with you guys. Thank you, Linda. I'm glad that uh, you learned how to do that. That's really cool. Um, sounds good. Are you writing these down, Laura? Do you want me to screenshot it for you? Um, all righty. Well, thank you everyone for joining. Um, we're really thankful that you're here. We're excited to have uh, you for NWA Gives again this year. Um, again, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to Laura's team or to the Mighty Cause team. Um, and then if you have any questions, just let us know and we'll be here to support. Um, thanks again, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you.